There's no denying that the keto diet still reigns as one of the most popular and highly researched diets out there right now. Many people use it and have had great results from it, but many don't fully get what it's all about and why it's so hyped. So I decided to look into it just to get a clearer understanding of what it's all about. So you always hear the term keto diet or ketogenic diet. Now let me explain to you what it's all about. The body needs energy and the primary source of energy is sugar or carbohydrates. They're the same thing. Now carbohydrates get converted into sugar and our body uses that primarily as energy because we eat so much sugar in our diet. However, there are alternative fuels, something called ketone bodies. And ketone bodies are created when your liver takes fat, stored fat and the fat that you eat and converts it into ketone bodies. And so your body now, instead of using sugar as energy, is gonna use the ketones. And the beauty of it is this, because the stored fat is being converted into ketones and burnt, you start losing weight and you start dropping sizes because you're reducing fat cells in your body. The body has no choice. It takes the fat that you have on your body and the fat that you eat and uses that as fuel. So carbs have now become the enemy. I'm not saying that I fully advocate the ketone diet because from what I know, carbohydrates are very important to us. If you do decide to do this, make sure you seek the right medical advice, especially if you have any pre-existing conditions. Staying away from carbohydrates in the keto diet means no grains, rice, pasta, potatoes, sweet potatoes, which I'm a big fan of, and you also have to stay away from certain fruits and vegetables, basically all kinds of sugars. It's not easy at all. You have to quite drastically switch things up in your body. You're basically telling your body to burn fats instead of sugars for fuel. So the things you can eat now are full fat dairy, butter, salmon, olive oils, avocados, steaks, basically things with a high fat content. But remember, you can't use barbecue sauce for instance, because sauce generally contains a lot of sugars, so they're out of the equation now. You can have some carbs in your diet. The way it's generally calculated is this. 60 to 75% of fats, 15 to 30% of protein, and 5 to 10% of carbs. Now 5 to 10% of carbs would equate to maybe 2 or 3 slices of bread per day. This is the balance that you need in order for this diet to work. If you don't stick to it, then you won't be in ketosis. And one way you can actually tell if the diet is working and if you're in ketosis is you can find these things called keto sticks, which I'll put a link to in the description. Basically, ketones are detectable in our urine. So you dip one of these strips into your urine and it will show you via a color chart whether you're in ketosis or not. I had no idea these things existed until I did a bit of research. It's a lot more strict than some of the diets I've seen, such as the intermittent fasting diet. So my verdict is this. The keto diet, like any other diet, isn't a diet you can just sort of do. You have to be fully committed and you have to stay committed and consistent for months in order for you to see real results. Carbs are in so many of my favorite foods. I eat a lot of brown rice and sweet potatoes for my energy. So I feel like for me, it would be really hard for me to do the switch over. You could say that this diet is basically the Atkins diet, but with a much lower allowance for carbs. I feel that many others may find themselves hitting a wall after a while with this. The numbers do look very daunting at first, but there are different types of keto diets, such as the cyclic, the targeted, and the vegan keto diet that might be worth looking into. Another thing to note is that you can't really exercise intensively on a keto diet. You'll find that especially in the earlier stages, you may have lower energy due to the lower amount of carbs in your body. So if you're someone who does really intense workouts, do bear that in mind and maybe try and find a way around it. Now, what do you think of the keto diet? Are you intrigued? Do you wanna give it a go? Have you tried the keto diet yourself and did it work for you? Let me know in the comments below. Now, with that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.